do. Page 22. Good evening, Alderman, Corporation Council, Zirkel, Mayor Langfelder, and Chair DeCinso. Uh, we're just here to present a few highlights of the city treasurer's budget. The white pages are just on the last slide, and we can go through any questions you might have with those. So we'll get right into it. Uh, first, you'll see some of our accomplishments for the year. Our interest revenue, as you will see in the upcoming slides, continues to be very strong for uh, income for the city. We did an RFP recently for banking services to make sure that our banking fees continue to decrease and our revenues continue to be strong for interest revenues. We also did an RFP for courier services because the last few years I've been saying those have been going up, so we did one in conjunction with the utility. And then the treasurer's office made sure that all of our PCs in the office had an update of Windows 10. Uh, that is required for safety of your funds. So we did that, we invested in some updates. I'm sure Ralph Hanauer appreciates that. And then um, cross-training and succession planning manuals. We are requiring that everybody in the office participates in writing their own cross-training and succession planning manual, and then it's tested by a coworker to see if they understand how to do the job. So that you don't have to worry about succession planning in the treasurer's office, and we're about 75% done with those, and they will be on a shared drive, and anyone will have access to them. Uh, to go right into the interest earnings, you will see that uh, fiscal year 19, we ended on the city side with a little under a million dollars in interest revenue, which a few short years ago, it was at $90,000. A year to date, we're at 838,000, so we're on track to make that same amount of money again. The electric fund is next. <clears throat> You'll see that we last year also closed the electric fund with a little under a million dollars in interest. A few short years ago, it was only $80,000, and we will be on track year to date. We're at 769,000 to make that again. The water fund, uh, last year we ended with 317,000 in interest. A few short years ago, it was $37,000, and we're on track to make that same money again this year. So we're doing very well with our interest revenues. Our workforce, uh, the office when it's fully staffed, is an office of 12 people. Uh, our office capacity, uh, currently we have one vacancy and we are nine women and two men of our office of 11 right now. And we have two minorities in that 11 as well. And then the white pages are on this budget document here. Personnel services, as Director McCarty highlighted on, IMRF contributions have gone up for us. So we looked for ways that we could cut so that you would not have a large or a very large increase. Our budget's pretty small, it's a million dollars. So um, in personnel lines, so we cut a little bit of money in contractual services and then we cut quite a bit out of bank fees because we keep reducing those. So that way we are only needing a 0.17% increase for those IMRF contribution increases. Any questions? Right. Yes, sir. Uh, thank, great job on the interest earn. That's in, that's incredible. What we, I mean, almost a million dollars just in the the city. But um, how are we doing on uh, on collections uh, compared to you know years past? Yeah. They're strong. Uh, last year we had a giant increase in uh, I drop because we were able to put things into there we had never put in before. Uh, we started. That's the debt recovery, debt recovery program through the state comptroller. And we were able to, the comptroller's office allowed us to put some debts in there that had not ever been submitted. So last year was the biggest increase in that because we dumped in a bunch of debt and got it all paid back during tax time. Um, so they withhold money from Illinois tax returns and then also from any state employees that receive a paycheck. Um, so that was bigger than this year just because we dumped in a lot of old debt that we were able to put in before we hadn't had in the past. But we're still doing strong. Our collection agency, we get money in every single month, Colleen can tell you. You will see a little bit of a difference in collections come July because we can no longer suspend driver's licenses for parking violations. That's going to go away. And we're working with the legal department on that. So you will see a difference in that. Um, but any cannabis violations that are out there, um, I have been told by legal, we can keep them out there. We can still collect them from the past. Even though your record is expunged, you can still pay your debt, so that's good. And then, of course, uh, those there will still be fines for that as people infringe upon that. So we'll still have collections. And then it has been a goal of mine for quite some time to work even deeper with Corporation Council on helping the our, our law office of the city, Corporation Council's office, in debt collection, and I would like to continue that as well. Great. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chair DeCinto. 
you want to flip a coin, Mayor or City Clerk? Who wants to go next? Oh, City Clerk. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. 